iCare is led by a charismatic leader, John Suarez, who's been in the healthcare industry for over 12 years. He and the company have developed an analytical tool that really bridges the gap between the healthcare providers, the doctors, and the patients. It's cutting edge. There's nobody else out there doing it. So without further ado, John and iCare. Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank, on behalf of my uh, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, friends, um, Mark, uh, Gerard, and the whole team and Incubate that has hosting us uh, for the past three months in this uh, big endeavor that we're about to start. So I just want to give him a big round of applause uh, for them. Thank you, guys. Okay, let me start by saying that I've been in the healthcare industry for over a decade. Uh, most of my time has been spent in information technology. Uh, I have worked for uh, what is called right now insurance company Cigna and Medicare here in the state of Florida uh, for hospitals uh, like Baptist Health Systems uh, and lately for Mount, in the Mount Sinai campus. Um, all the time working, setting up system uh, for insurance companies electronic medical records, um, business intelligence. Now, last two years, I spent my time working on um, operational roles which really opened my eyes to the big, big disconnection that we have between doctors and insurance companies. This is creating a lot of waste of money and also a lot of money that is not collected from the government. So let me explain how the system currently works. I just want to make a simple assumption. Right now we have, the government has two systems. One is the fee for service. You go to the, you go to see, your grandparent go to see the doctor in the Medicare area, or you or your grandparent, and then the doctor see you, and then the doctor pretty much send a bill to the government, and the government pays. You can see this is very expensive. It's very encouraging for the doctors to just send information to the system. So the, the government is facing now that system. As you can see, you go to the emergency room, and for little time, you get these bills uh, that are really make no sense. So now the government is moving into what is called a fixed, a payment, uh, fixed payment by illnesses. So depending on how sick the patients are, Basically, the insurance companies that the doctor get paid. So just to make it even simpler, we have two buckets. We have the healthy bucket and the sick bucket. So now, the people in the healthy bucket, the patients get some money from the government, in this case, $6,000 per year on average. On the, on the, in the sick uh, patient's bucket, of course, because they might end up in the hospital or because they have expensive medications, the government pays more for what they do. Now. The government said you need to, doctors, you need to keep documenting these conditions. Otherwise, I will move them into the healthy bucket. So that means that instead of getting those $36,000, they go back into the $6,000. So insurance companies all the time are trying to, some way or another, trying to convince the doctors to make sure that they document all those conditions so they get in fall again into the uh, um, sick bucket. So again, the, in this process, there is a lot of a lot of millions left on the table on the table because of that. So what they produce is a bunch of reports they create, which is not real time. They produce all these reports and they give it to the doctors, which at the end of the day, the doctors really care about helping patients. So they don't care about looking at reports. So most of the time, they don't do it, or they end up in the office system on, on that office. They never get it, or even if they get it. It doesn't, they, they cannot track that it's being done or not. Okay, so really this system doesn't work. Now, it's estimated for an insurance with 2,000 patients, there are inefficiencies for about $5 million per year of lost revenue that they could have collected uh, from the Medicare uh, system. Now, right now they're not alone. There are about 50 million Medicare members that are in the system and 10,000 retiring on a daily basis. iCare is bringing the solution to the system. iCare is a cloud-based analytical portal that pretty much is creating the first application called IMLR, Intelligent MLR. What it does is a dashboard that will help the insurance companies to really understand what patients are going again into the healthy bucket to make sure they stay in the, in the, in the sick bucket and also for 
the insurance companies to make sure how the doctors as a conjunction are managing the system when it comes to utilization. So the way they make sure the system is identified very simplistic way, how to get into the patient level, understand if this patient needs to be moving to that bucket and either through, technology, through mobile technology or directly to them through their own medical records that they post electronic medical records, that information is being presented. So no matter if the patient has went for a cold and he has, I don't know, diabetes that is being controlled, but it still needs to be documented to make sure he stays in the, in, the, in the sick bucket, the doctor is going to be able to do it. So the system is going to be paid by the insurance companies. These are our customers. They're gonna pay $1 per member per month Okay, and now for this particular example that we have for 2,000 patients, they will pay 2,000 a month, 20,000 a year. They, they, of course, the benefits will be they, they'll improve the financials and they're gonna be able to control the expenses of all these doctors that they have in their own network. Now, as you can see in the example, by investing 24,000 in our systems, they are gonna be able potentially to recover those five million that they left on the table. This is a no-brainer from the industry. And then when I presented that to the MSOs and to the insurance company, they say, you know what, John? We believe in your idea, we're gonna give you the data. They give you the data, we already have beta testers. We're gonna be testing the application in January. We're about 80% done. Uh, we're right rushing to comp completion. And in May, this application will be live. So we have two insurance companies already signed up for that. We're gonna have four more. Now, if it's so good, why it hasn't been done? I'm gonna give you three basic reasons why this hasn't been done before. First, the Medicare payment is recently new, and nowadays it's been changing to make sure it pays for performance. It's not how much I send to the system, it's how healthy I keep the patient. That's number reason one. So that has grown so much that now it's interest to the industry. Number two, the adoption of medical records. Electronic medical records are gonna be mandatory by the government by 2015. So this is a big, big thing because we're gonna have feeds that we didn't have before. All this data that is being created by the doctors now we're gonna be able to capture and really make sense out of it, aggregated with other, other areas. Now the third one is the healthcare reform. As you guys know, that's, that's to stay and we're gonna have more people, millions and millions of people joining this, the government system. Now we have competitors out there. As soon as we presented this to, uh, to, to our clients, they realized all the tools that were aggregating. And again, I've been doing that job. I did it for the last two years. And the tools that we're presenting to um, the industry are really beyond uh, what the what they competitors are using. And that's what they're so excited to get into the, into the boat. And just to reinforce, all these companies do pro reactive medicine as opposed to proactive medicine. So they get a tons of reports that are not trackable. Now, who's in the team? Myself, you guys know me by now, uh, 12 years in the business intelligence area, area uh, with background in financials and information technology. Uh, we have Carlos Collazos, who is our director of, uh, creative, creative director, which is the one handling the application of, to make sure that it's easy look. He has over 10 years of web development and um, lately mobile development. And then we, we have our team uh, that is handling uh, the applications being built as we, as we speak. Of course, we have mentors all over, all over Incubate and people from the industry that are ready to jump to help us in the business development as soon as we go through validation. Now, talking about that, we're raising $450,000. We're raising $50,000 to go to do the validation with our existing already beta, beta testers, and then when everything is validated with all the options, now we're gonna be needing the $400,000 to go and do the growth in the state of Florida, New York, California, and Texas, when it's the major concentration of uh, Medicare uh, population. Now, this, we're gonna be profitable by year one. Um, as you can see, by year four is when we're gonna hit our max because by that time, everybody will be in electronic med medical records, and that's the point in which really uh, we are gonna get at our maximum potential. So this is a really good opportunity. Now. Right now, we're going into really unprecedented healthcare times. This is a revolution right now. It hasn't been seen since uh, a Medicare was established in the 60s. We have the strategic partners that are gonna help us open the network. And then we have this, all this information that is big data that is being collected that's gonna be very powerful in the future. So I really believe that this is a really big investment opportunity. And I encourage you guys to talk to me after the presentation if you wanna learn more about it. Thank you very much.